Hey everybody, you're watching Bob's Decline here. I've been a lineman on the east coast of Canada for 16 years now. Subscribe to my channel and follow me as I respond to real life trouble calls and power outages. Today I wanted to show you a call that I responded to last week. This was a perfect example of the dangers of the back feed, something that could easily be taken for granted. You see, the biggest problem with power lines is that what flows through them can be deadly, yet it has no smell and under normal circumstances cannot be seen, heard, or touched. This makes it hard for those that are not educated on the subject to give electricity the respect it deserves. But every once in a while, the dragon comes out to remind us of its power. Now in a situation like this, the dangers are pretty obvious. There's not a soul that would go near such a thing. Keeping people away from electricity when you can see it, is easy. And through education and constant reminders, we can hopefully keep people away from down power lines regardless if they think they are dead or not. And to further prove my point, let's get back to the call I had last week. Now this particular call is a perfect learning experience for both Lyman and the public alike. Our dispatch had received a call from 911, claiming lines were down in a residential area. The local firefighters had kept the area clear until my arrival. Now it's important to know that I do not have any footage of the first 20 minutes or so, as I was busy securing the scene by opening the line and installing grounds on all three phases. Once the area was safe, I wanted to share with you all what I had found. So what you're seeing here is one of three phases that came down across the road. The portion laying on the pavement is on the source side in which the fuse feeding had blown clear at some point before my arrival. The remaining portion of broken wire, being on the load side, was dangling innocently from the next pole down. Now, technically speaking, this wire is dead. It is completely disconnected from its source. Yet at the end of the line, there is a three-phase load, which is actually backfeeding the power enough that as the wind blows this dead wire against the pole, the pole heats up and actually starts a small fire. Now the scary part is a pole is actually a dry piece of wood and acts mostly as a semiconductor. The voltage has to be fairly high in order to break down its insulating properties enough to start a fire. In other words, if somebody touched this so-called dead wire before the remainder of the lines would be energized and grounds installed, it surely would have been fatal. That is why I cannot stress enough that if you're a lineman working out there in the field, if it's not grounded, it's not dead. And if you remember the public, Please do not touch down power lines under any circumstances. Instead, call 911 or your local power company and keep the area clear until we arrive. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bob's Decline. we got some real neat stuff coming up, including a review of the Wood Owl Auger Bit and some awesome giveaways.